When we met Joe as the Doctor the first time, it was for the 13th Doctor, the questions and the rabbit warren that led me down was endless. There's this battle between time and space that is sending her into this process of questioning the whole journey that she's been on, because there's elements that she can't remember and she doesn't know why she can't remember. A lot of the 13th Doctor, what, what she's trying to achieve is just to know who the hell she is. The Fugitive Doctor has the ability to kind of take on board process but not be deterred from her path. She has a strong sense of self, uh, right and wrong. She will not suffer fools gladly and she feels like she has to be strong all the time, which is a blessing and a curse. People need the Doctor. Victor 280, take two. Can I tell you what happens in this episode? I'm back. <laughs> in this situation, because I have the memories of her now, it's, there isn't a status change, because I always feel as if Joe's doctor always has a kind of higher status, because I'm kind of chaos, and she's very clear and knows exactly what's going on. A few things popped up in the last series, you know, me, <laughs> which has forced her to question a lot of things. Why she can't remember this? Why don't we know each other? Those are big, big questions, and it, to not know one's identity is, is so important. The first time we met, even though we had no idea how we were intertwined, every bit of information she was giving was kind of leading us both to something, whereas for me now, I know who she is. I have some history where she has no context. She just walks past a reflection and her reflection isn't her, it's me. The whole journey of the Doctor Jordan, this is to find out who she is and she sees her old self and that is sending her into beginning to question how she's got where she is, if she's seen her old self and, and also who she is and what motivates her. So there's loads of scenes within it where you see the Doctor questioning why she's doing what she's doing, which is not what we're used to the Doctor doing, because you'd expect the Doctor to know the answers to everything. Where is this? It's really interesting with this, because there's a few versions of myself or other people I've kind of inhabited. It's definitely you, but it's, diff it's a slightly different version. It's not a caricature of anybody else or an impersonation, but it has to have this other kind of element. And playing the Fugitive Doctor, knowing how kick-ass Jo is and how she's played the Doctor in such a brilliant, really strong, really powerful way. When I was in the scenes where I have to flip between both Doctors, it was as... I suppose as simple for me is one of the big things that I do as the 13th is fidget and slightly lower my height. So I basically inhabit my terrible posture, which is a bit hunched and a bit kind of chaotic, whereas Joe's doctor is much more direct. So my posture was taller, stronger, and much more in a straight line than my <laughs> I think the thing that's admirable for the 13th Doctor with the Fugitive Doctor is that whenever we've met her, she's always taking charge. She is the leader. What are you doing here? Is this the Atropos defense systems? I'm you, which means this is my past. I'm in a memory. What do you mean you're me? Nah, I don't think so. So working with Jodie and Joe was like, a, it was an amazing experience having them both back together again. They get on so well uh, as actors off screen, but it was fun to see them play that prickly relationship that they have with each other. There's this kind of slight conflict that they have, and, and that was really fun to explore, and it was great to experiment with on set, and you know, it just shows what great performers that they, they are um, to be able to kind of switch it on. If you've thrown yourself into a time storm, and that storm's thrown you in here, you might never get back. And my friends will die, submerged in their own time stream. Then you've got a lot to figure out.
But I, I definitely felt that like when Jo walked in and she has her costume on and she's the fugitive doctor, there is this kind of respect silence that kind of falls amongst the, the crew members as she walks on, which I found really kind of exci exciting and exhilarating. And you kind of try and use that and put that on screen as much as possible. She's amazing, like you can tell her presence that when she walks on set that, you know, she ha has this kind of commanding presence, which is really fun to play against Jodie's performance. Through the Doctor's actions, she finds herself in the time storm in episode three, which is, as it sounds, it is it's basically um, all of time flowing very fastly, both her timeline and um, her friend's timelines. She starts to not only appear in other characters' timelines, but also goes back into her own historical timeline, uh, the timeline that she has no knowledge of because it's from a time before her mind was wiped. And so within that fractured timeline, uh, our Doctor is looking in the mirror and the reflection looking back at her is her former self, the, the fugitive Doctor. The scene in episode three where the Doctor speaks to the fugitive Doctor uh, was filmed in a really kind of old school way. Going into it, I'd actually prepped for something a lot more complex and we were going to use essentially visual effects to kind of paint the other person out. And, but when we got onto set, it was actually the camera operator, Mark McCoy, who, who, who came up with this much more old school way of filming them next to each other. So um, Jodie would be here, Joe would be here, and we'd be looking at the mirror, but we would angle the camera enough so we would see Joe in the reflection. And it was just a much simpler way of doing it and much more effective. And all we had to do was match up as, as they kind of came into the scene, they would kind of walk in the same way with the shoulder like this and then we'd both turn in the same direction. And that sold it. And, and, and it's amazing how these kind of simple effects are so effective. All I know is I just went and stood in the right places. They were talking a whole lot of There was a lot of people buzzing around and the director was buzzing around and our DOP, wonderful. Everybody buzzing around and I just hit my marks. Me and Joe had to smash the time in, so we had to both walk and land on our marks at the same time, which is, you know, technically our job, so we should be able to do that. It was to come and stand there next to each other and the way the camera angled and the reflections were, it was as if we were opposite. So, incredibly simple but really effective. I don't know what they're doing, but they, they make magic happen. But all I know is I'm looking in the mirror. The weirdest thing was acting to yourself because you could see yourself in a mirror and talking, doing your lines opposite with obviously the other actor doing the off lines. But it was not as technical as I thought it was going to be, which is brilliant for me because I'm always rubbish on those days. I'm your future. I threw myself into a time storm here in the future to protect myself and my friends, but it threw me down into my own time stream in the middle of a memory that I've lost and I'm, I'm losing control of it all. No time to admire yourself, boss. A bit of praise for the effective reducer wouldn't go of this. Yeah, you're pretty smart for a dog. Good. I love working with Joe Martin and I am desperate to have our doctors in more scenes together because I absolutely love her. I love being back. I love being back. It's been fabulous so far. Jodie's still delicious. The new guys are delicious. You know, they're just darlings and um, I still fit in my costume. We were always given really meaty stuff to play against each other, so it's been... I've really loved it, but also she is brilliant and she's such a good laugh and she's just a brilliant energy to have on set. So, yeah, fingers crossed this isn't the last we've seen of her. Will you see me again? I mean, what I will say is, um, <coughs> I'll be hard to get rid of. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.